Immediately it sounds kind of ludicrous to throw a man in jail for the rest of his life just because he stole a piece of pizza. But then at the same time, I think we've come to a society that everything has become sound bites. You know, politicians are pushing some program, three strikes and you're out in baseball terminology. Every Joe in Midwest America is going to identify with this and go, God damn it, I'm going to give my shotgun rack and I'm going to support this man all the way into the White House. So in that sense, I'm not in favor of policies that just, you can put a slap it on a bumper sticker and sell it down to keep the, you know, suburban populace who have children and stuff safe. As far as the question was, is if the United States should train other countries and establish armies and train armies in foreign countries, I really haven't thought about that question before. And my gut instinct is to say no, because I feel that we're not training our own army that well. And to get involved in a foreign country's uh, established plan, that it might lead to more problems than to anything that would help them. So I really feel kind of like, you know, the Star Trek initiative is that other countries should worry, have their problems and work within their own countries. And if we can deal at a diplomatic level, that's great. But having involvement in an army level, I, I have concerns about that. I think it's terrible, and I think it has a big effect on crime. It's particularly bad for kids. I mean, I've got three boys. And, and two nephews, so we really don't watch a lot of TV, the violence on TV. I think it's really bad. I have no idea how it affects people because um, I don't, I'm not allowed to watch it. <laughs> so we're here at uh, the UMA, or we're walking around Davis, and we're asking people this week, what is the best thing about Davis? So here's our first victim. Excuse me, would you like to ask her a quick question? It's for uh, Davis Community Television. Sure. Um, we're asking people this week, uh, what's the best thing about Davis, in your opinion? Or what's the funnest thing to do in Davis? What do you like most? Oh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, what does an advanced state mean to me? Uh, just being able to do whatever I want on not having to, like, you know, uh, listen to what anybody else says. And uh, my parents are out of town, so that's a lot of independence. Do I think people are more good-natured or bad-natured? It's an interesting question. Um, I tend to think that inherently it's uh, people generally have an instinct to be selfish. Um, I think people also have a conscience, so that kind of helps uh, shape their actions um, and kind of holds them accountable for their actions. So you may want to be, I think people are lazy and there's a temptation to go to, towards taking the easy way out. Um, and, uh, but then again, I think we have this conscience that, uh, did I already say that? Yeah, I did. All right, let me keep going then. I think computers have most changed the world recently and will continue to do that in the future. I think the fact that the computers have given us an opportunity to communicate worldwide internationally. Information travels much more rapidly. Uh, well, I think it's just a partisan process right now. And so for that reason alone, don't think that he should be impeached. I uh, feel vehemently that he shouldn't be impeached. Um, and furthermore, I think that uh, I hold out the hope that this is going to be a watershed event in this country. Uh, this country has not always been Republican-Democrat. There have been other parties uh, throughout our history. And hold out the hope that this will uh, spur the rise of uh, some third party that uh, can you know, break this partisan stronghold that we have. So. Sure. Uh, what's your favorite thing about Davis? Uh, I'm a big fan of the uh, blooming uh, music scene here. And uh, I'd have to say that uh, I'm, I'm also uh, partial to the uh, skateboarding activities available here in uh, Davis, California. Uh, that's about it. That's, that's my favorite. I'm not a big fan of the cops. Uh, not a big fan of, uh, you know. Oh, I can't say that? Oh, well, you can cut it right there. There was an R uh or two. Okay. <laughs> hey, there's Eric. What's he doing? Oh, hey, skate skateboarding. Yeah. We like it. Um, I have a roommate who's an airline pilot. 
And our next door neighbor is a retired professor of Bergman films at the university. Mm -hmm. And they are both amateur astronomers. And they both really get a lot of fun out of looking up in the sky and seeing what's going on. And of course the pilot, he knows what's going on. The other guy, he's deadly smart. He knows what's going on. And we have lights right in back of our houses because we have the um, green, belt. Uh, green belt right behind there. And those lights impair their ability to see what's going on and explain it to me. <laughs> So, uh, we're in favor of it. Do I think President Clinton should be impeached? The answer is no. I think he made a terrible mistake, but it was a personal mistake. He made a mistake that many other Americans have made. Um, however, I'm referring to the adultery, but the worst part of that was his inability to own up to it and come clean early in the process. I don't think that requires impeachment. I have a lot of compassion for the guy. I think he's been a great leader for us, and I think he needs our forgiveness, and um, I think we need to stop pestering him and let him do his job. I'd have to say cats. Really? How come? Well, because they're a lot faster, and it's easier for them to move around. Okay. And what about this guy over here? I like dogs better. Why? Uh, because, uh, They'll always be your friend, and they don't turn around and bite you when you're petting them. Uh, <laughs> Josh like? is his name, and my name is Jasmine. Okay. What's your name? And what do you like best about Halloween? Um, the costumes and the people. Because it's so much fun, and you get candy a lot. Oh, no, no.